morning family it's tasha mom bear prepping welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel we're gonna get right into a doozy this morning you guys so again this has been on the board this has been scheduled for a while and i i just feel like it's time to really discuss this okay we are in a time right now that to me is super critical okay um, you have a lot of people talking about a lot of different things. I do the same. I, I cover down on a lot of topics and a lot of things that are happening right now and things to do and tips and how to get ahead of it. And it can be quite daunting. Okay. And some of the stuff that I'm talking about, other channels have covered a year ago, right? They were on top of this. Um, as soon as certain things happen, it was kind of been a topic even before medical crisis. Okay. Um, but as soon as that happened, people started talking about, um, you know, the collapse of our economy. Okay. And there were some points, there were some time periods last year where it, it was very close. It was very scary thinking like, whoa, like any day, this is, this is done. Like this is done. Like, what are we going to do? Okay. And so to me, I'm really feeling it's it's the time to talk about it again, okay? Me and my family did discuss this last year in depth, okay? And hey, how do we get ahead of this? What do we do now? And we did a lot of things. Now, I think um, because you have so many things that are happening right now. You know, when people talk about shit hitting the fan, I think people have this glamorous idea in their head, like the movies, that it's just like instant. Are there things that can happen that are instant that yes, all of a sudden one day it's fine and one day it's not? Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. However, comma, a lot of things are a slow grind, a slow crawl. You never see it. And then especially people with blinders, they definitely, these poor people definitely don't see it because it is a slow crawl. You still have people who are not um, understanding or believing or you know, seeing food shortages and, and believing the people that are saying, hey, are you seeing this? Are you looking? Do you see this inflation? You still have people that are like, there's not any inflation going on right now. They're, oh, that's just fine right now. That's just because of, you know, what happened last year and we're just going to get back to things. And there's, yeah, there's some few things that are inflation, but it's no big deal. And there's definitely not food shortages. And it's just wild to me, okay? Because we are in a slow grind and eventually one day we're going to wake up where it's going to be, all hell is going to break loose, okay? And then all of a sudden people are going to be like, oh shit, these people are right, okay? Now, Let's get into specific economic collapse. I think 100% this is coming hard and fast, you guys. I don't think I'm not talking about this, thinking this is going to happen next year, you know, 2022, 23. I think that we are kind of getting a the starting roll, if you will, of the ball rolling towards um, an economic collapse. And I think because of where we stand right now, where things are going and how that is just going to continue to work against it. And eventually it just can't hang on anymore, you guys. Okay. Now let's talk about a few things. We're going to talk about the why. Why do I think this? We're going to talk about what it leads to, the dangers. And then I'm going to talk about what you can do to prepare. Okay. So real quick, the whys. Um, emergency crisis. That's kind of where the average person started thinking, okay, you have this big thing that's happening. All of a sudden you have people not working, you know, just... There was fear, right? There was this panic of like, oh no, what's going to happen? And a lot of people were talking about the economy collapsing, right? And so, you know, with that now rearing its ugly head, we are definitely going towards, you know, the big, what I call the big wave two. We've talked about different waves throughout this whole thing, right? Um, but I think this is the significant big time wave two, meaning the type that affects the entire world, affects a lot of people. And I think um, it's not going to be good, okay? Because um, my my other reasons why, you know, you have people that are not working, you have unemployed, you already had that battle that we're battling right now with people not being able to find work or unemployment, then you couple that with um, homelessness happening and that's just going to continue to get worse. Yes, we've had a couple turns with that, with the unemployment numbers, but with another wave of something, it's just going to go right back to where it was. Okay. And that has a domino effect against your middle class and your small business owners. Okay. Um, uh, because then they cannot find, um, employees. They cannot run their businesses. They cannot get the supplies. It's just crazy circle of, 
death is what's happening. It's that slow circle you see on your computer where you're like, oh my goodness, kill me now. This is horrible. Nothing's happening. It's just slowly going around you guys. Another thing is we, we've already covered it and talked about it. It's like till we're blue in the face, inflation, food shortages, our supply and demand. I mean, again, that goes back to not enough people to do the trucks and deliver food, to do the cargo um, ships and then being offloaded and unloading to the crops, not being, um, not being able to either they're getting destroyed because of weather or they are not growing enough because of water or they're not able to process enough because of people. Uh, not being able to work. I mean, it's just a vicious cycle, okay? And it's just, we are going to hit our peak, you guys, period, okay? The good thing is we have time, but this leads to a lot of dangerous stuff, okay? This leads to violence. This leads to riots, people being upset. It leads to more serious stuff like starvation, more homelessness, people on the streets that don't have a place to live, um, you know, it goes to bank closures, you know, there's no where to, you know, whatever money you have in the bank, you're not able to, you're not going to get that money. Okay. That money's gone when um, a significant crash happens. Okay. You're not going to be able to just go to the ATM and be like, oh, I need my 20,000 out of the bank. You know, no, you think the bank's giving you that money? Negative. Okay. Um, next thing is this is serious stuff. This type of scenario with desperation of a people leads to things like uh, the easy feeling of, you know, FEMA camps, different camps to help you um, get off your feet, take care of you, give you a warm place to sleep, food in your belly, a hot shower, right? Take care of you, okay? They want to do that, which then leads to things like the Great Reset, okay? This is not anything, I'm not talking about crazy tin hat things. These are things happening in our world right now. Okay, and these are the things that will happen. You, we scream, oh, we don't want the Great Reset. We don't want this stuff. But it easily is going to happen when you have a situation like economic collapse and you have people starving and you have people who don't have work, can't work, don't have a place to live. You have, um, you know, rioting and violence. And that becomes a very, you know, I don't know a desirable fix to it all, okay? And I would venture to say, you know, a mother out there with her children that is not prepared and is not doing the things, yeah, that that obviously she wants her children to live. And that's the sad reality is that you will have people who will easily go to those places and easily accept the can you take care of me mentality, which then leads to all this other stuff. Okay, so what can you and me do? What can be done? How do you battle this? What can you do? Okay, so I'm gonna go over a few things. These are some things I've, I've already talked about multiple times in different videos of things to get ready to do, okay? So I'm just gonna start with um, food supplies. So stacking food. Now, I wanna talk real, real quick about this topic. A lot of people are like, you know, I still get snide remarks like, oh, you're a hoarder. Um, you're not a prepper, you're a hoarder. You guys just panic buy and buy all this stuff and all this stuff. Uh, no baby, ain't nobody panic buying over here. Um, I just bought some groceries to top off the other day. It's been about $170 because I got some meats and stuff. And let me tell you, the last time that I bought groceries before that was literally like a month and a half, okay? So there's no panic buying. I'm, we literally go out and top off on the things that we need to top off. Stuff is in a normal rotation. Baby, I'm not out there um, panic buying. I go to the store every two or three days really just to check it out, grab a candy bar and check out the shelves, check out what I'm seeing. Intel, it has nothing to do with I'm in there buying you know, groceries, okay? Um, but people have this fantasy that you, you know, you're going out and you're buying all this stuff and you're just like have your house filled to the rafters yeah i do but it took years and years okay um so it's this isn't hoarding this is you need to continue to stack food every time you go to the store you need to continue to stack your cheap foods your shelf your self uh, shelf stable foods okay um so do what you can do keep doing that i can't stress that enough because the food situation and inflation is just a killer by itself it's gonna it's gonna lead to the economic collapse but it right now before that happens 
it's gonna get bad and we might ha see problems with the shelves and you not being able to get food before we actually have um, the collapse happen, okay? So get on that. Next thing is your handheld tools. So anything that you need, so maintenance tools, regular tools, hammers, even tools that you use in your kitchen, basically get all your tools that are not ran off electricity, your handheld regular old school tools. Think about the things that you plug in to use to do certain things in your kitchen or in your garage or for your projects, for your home and get those things in a non-electric way, okay? So non-electric handheld type tools, okay? Um, next thing is medical supplies. So again, any kind of economic collapse, things close. You're not able to get things, okay? Um, I don't know if you, there'll be pharmacies open. Like there's certain things that you might not be able to get or they're going to be inflated and, and it's going to be hard. So like anything else, we prepare to be self-sufficient. So you should be stacking just like food. You should be stacking your own medical supplies and medicines um, to be ready for having to go through something where there's not people out there that are, are can readily help you. Okay. Next one is start a garden. I talk about this. I feel like almost every video now when I'm talking about, you know, these types of topics start a garden anything at a minimum if you are just determined that i have no space i'm not going to do it here i absolutely just no 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 okay like you're a whole adult i can't tell you what to do but then go and do me a favor then and get a few packs of and not a few seed packs i'm talking about a, a few of the big ones that have like 100 types of seeds 60 types of seeds you can get them on amazon anywhere from $20 all the way up depending on how many seeds okay some of them have thousands and thousands of seeds you guys um, but get heirloom seeds. So go on Amazon, type in heirloom seeds and start getting seeds, okay? If you are just adamant you're, you cannot start a garden where you're at, get your seeds, okay? Get those seeds and get them now before you can't get them anymore, okay? Next one is get out of debt, okay? So this obviously leads to being a self-sufficient, self-reliant type of uh, person and lifestyle. So again, continue to work on that debt. What you don't want is during some sort of collapse, somebody trying to get something from you, like you owe us money and, you know, taking any kind of collaterals or wh whatever the case may be. You want to get out of debt. Okay. You don't want to owe on your car and have somebody trying to come take it. You don't want to, you know, obviously if you have a mortgage, you have a mortgage. Um, and if that's all you have, then work on paying that. Um, shout out to pinball preparedness man, they just paid off their mortgage. I was just so like overjoyed and happy for that man when he said that they did that yesterday. It just felt so awesome. And it wasn't even my mortgage. Okay. I, I can't even imagine the feeling of that. Okay. So just that's motivation to just keep pushing forward, get out of debt, keep paying your guys' stuff because that is liberating. And then, um, you know, you're starting that lifestyle of not owing people money. Okay. So work on that. The other thing I would say is get your home defense um, up on game, okay? If your home is not ready to go, right? If you are not prepared for, in a home defense type of scenario, because again, remember I just said, this stuff leads to rioting, desperate people. And so, you know, you've got a heart in your home. You need to make your home not a hard, uh, easy target and leaving things out and, um, you know, tempting, you know, criminals to come and try to take stuff from you okay or even desperate people maybe not even criminals but people that are desperate looking for that end that they can get something from somebody okay so get your home defense in order um generate your own power so i get it you know some people you just don't have the money to buy these solar generators that are on the thing um i often probably every single day get asked what type of solar generator i have what does it run we have the eco flows that is my favorite you guys and it's just because that's what we happen to buy we plugged them in we started using stuff and we loved them they said what they said they could do um and i love them okay i love them because now i have a way to keep my freezers going with my food in there you know i have a way to keep a cpap machine going i have a way to use some some uh feel good items in the kitchen you know rice cooker electric cooker stuff like that okay um you know you've got to figure out and again it goes to self-sufficiency trying to figure out a way that you can power now if you can't you can't okay and if you can't then concentrate on the ways to do stuff off grid without any kind of power right cover all those areas so that you're covered and have the things you need so that if you're living with no power that's fine okay but you need to prepare for that then okay and we are prepared for both 
but for as long as we can do it, we will have some sort of power generated. Now, I do have affiliation links below for the EcoFlow um, through Amazon. So if you want to go there, check them out. Um, my Delta is, is my absolute favorite because it runs the, um, the freezer chest and the regular fridge freezer combo behind me um, both at the same time for several hours, okay? And ideally, if you don't have to, if you're not opening them, you only need to run those for about four hours, you guys, a day um, if you're keeping them closed, okay? And I, I just love it. I, I just absolutely love the, the eco flows but there are other brands out there goal zero i've heard a lot about goal zero as well um so just take a look but that's on the list Gen trying to figure out a way where you can generate your own power and then um then the next one or last one is just getting your cash out of the bank okay obviously i know we're in a world where a lot of stuff is electronic and all that stuff but um, get some of your cash at a minimum, please get some of it out so that when something happens, you have some sort of nest egg that is in a cash form. Now the dollar might not be worth shit. Okay. It might just totally be done caked, but there, we might be in a situation where the economy collapses, but the dollar still has some sort of value. So you're able to use it and buy things and purchase things, you know, out in the world. Okay. Um, but there might not be any banks and ATMs and ways to get money. Okay. So you've got to make sure that you have part of your nest egg, some of your cash, is out in a cash form, okay? So that you have that option. Now to me, I'm not too worried. A lot of people will talk to you all day long about silver and Bitcoin and gold and that shit gives me a headache, you guys. I don't care two shits about that, okay? To me, what makes you money is people, okay? People, that's your skills, that's your bartering, okay? I have no problem or or think I'm going to have any issues being able to barter with people and skill wise and talking to people hard labor like that is the stuff that gets stuff done people is what makes that survival um happen okay yes does money make the world go round sure it does okay but I would venture that people make the world go round and anything can be done um if you have a community or have people that you can you know be able to talk to and barter and get things um and trade things like that okay so i'm not dismissing it's not like we're sitting here and we have no cash okay i i'm telling you to get cash and have some sort of nest egg that is outside of the bank um in case we are in a situation where there's an economic collapse but that the dollar still has some sort of value to it and is still can be used okay um these are the things that we have been doing for years or thought about um we thought about these things very heavy last year when you know the whole world was looking at you know our economy and we're like oh man you know and if we go into some kind of hardcore second wave and then you have people starving and living on the streets and if especially if we have any more money coming out of the government and, and, and giving that to people it's a wrap i don't think that we can survive um and it's a domino effect this isn't just a united states it would be a world altering event if the united states economy goes down and i don't even want to venture into the other things that th that our economy collapsing could snowball us into absolutely do not want to think about those scary things okay because at that point we're vulnerable and you have people who are ready to come in and take over and um it's just not cool okay so do these things um don't panic just get ahead of this stuff but i think this fall this fall, you guys, I, I think we're very, very close to seeing something crazy in our lives. And I think a lot of us have been feeling it in our gut. I think a lot of us don't quite know where to put our finger on exactly what is going to get us or what's going to send it over the edge. Um, but all of these issues and concerns that the prepping community has play together. And it's it's not looking good. This isn't scare tactics. This isn't to scare you like the world's going to end. No, it's just, it's just going to be hard. It's going to be hard and, um, hard decisions are going to have to be made, um, because people are going to be enticed to do things that maybe they wouldn't normally do, um, because it's going to be better than their current situation. And why? 
because they did not prepare. Okay. Um, uh, what did I hear this quote? This girl said in one of the things she said, the strong survive, the prepared thrive. And so uh, we're prepared. I don't want to be even stressing a little bit about, do we have enough? Or I can't believe, you know, I don't want to do it. I just want to live our lives the way we want to do it debt free without anybody telling us what we have to do. And that's it. Period. Okay. So I would love to hear in the comments below what you guys think. Um, are you, are you tracking economic collapse? What are your thoughts on that? Do you think it's going to happen? Um, what are you doing to prepare your family? And let's get into the discussion. I love the comments almost as much as I do making the videos. Okay. So I will see you guys. Um, tomorrow on the next video. Take care.